Hey there, Hi Voice here. Let me show you how to use Google Chrome to debug a Node.js application. In my previous video, I showed how to use Visual Studio Code to attach to a Node.js debugger. So let me do the same thing but this time using Google Chrome. Let me switch to Visual Studio Code. And uh, what I have on the uh, screen is a JavaScript application which I can use to attach the debugger. So the application is basically just a few lines and it's a web server written in Express. I will put a link in the description below to where you can get the source code for this application but it's pretty much just a few lines of code just to illustrate how to start the debugger and attach. We'll start first by launching the debugger. So what I've done is uh, in my package JSON, I have a script for debug which just goes node inspect index.js. So if I type yarn debug, what I'll get is um, I'll get node starting my application and it will attach the uh, debugger, uh, it will launch the debugger on port 9229. Let's switch to Google Chrome. Uh, what you have on the screen is my hideously colored Google Chrome. <laughs> it's gonna work, but uh, just open Chrome. What you want to do is you want to go to this page. Chrome colon slash slash inspect. Okay. What this page does is that it will scan for all the debuggers that I have on my machine and it will display them so that I can click on it and attach Chrome to the debugger. Okay, just wait a while on this screen and eventually you'll get a remote target which contains the uh, link to your debugger. I have a Chromecast on my network. Yeah, don't, don't bother about the Chromecast or any other device. What you want to do is you want to wait for this remote target to appear and you want to click on the inspect link over here. And what will happen is that it will launch an a instance of DevTools. Let me just make this a bit bigger. And this DevTools is actually the debugger in Chrome attaching to Node.js. Now, with this debugger, you can do a few things. So it's going to start out on the uh, console. Uh, this is console out. Uh, let me just make this slightly a bit bigger so that it's easy to see. So this is console out. Then you have sources and uh, these are the sources of uh, what source code you have. Uh, it, can't, it can't find the source code by itself. It, you, you need to give it some help. Then it has memory and it has profiler. Memory and profiler, this is basically the same thing. This is CPU profiling and this is memory profiling. I'll do a video on this uh, later. It needs its own video. The concepts of memory profiling and CPU profiling in JavaScript is quite in-depth and I don't want to make this video longer than it should be. So I'll skip these two tabs for now. But what I can do is I can add some source to the uh, source screen and then I can put a breakpoint. To add a folder to the workspace, you just click on this link over here. Then you add the uh, folder you want. Now, by default, the debugger won't be able to access your hard disk. Um, you're going to get this option up here, DevTools require access, just press allow and there we are, all my source appears in the in the uh, workspace. This is where I can use to, um, to put my breakpoints. So setting a breakpoint, uh, pretty straightforward, I click on index. Uh, don't mind that I actually have two mouse on my screen, it's, it's just the capture software, it's capturing my mouse twice. So I go to index.js and I have a line over here, rest send world. I'm just going to click next to the uh, source and it's going to put a breakpoint. Uh, I don't really care where the breakpoint is. I just want to illustrate how you can do it from the Chrome debugger. With my breakpoint ready, uh, what I can do is I can trigger the breakpoint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to my Visual Studio Code and I'm going to just go to a PowerShell screen. I'm, I'm going to run curl. HTTP localhost 3000 and I'm just going to call the, I'm just going to do a get on uh, hello. What this does is this actually triggers the breakpoint. I'm going to switch back to Chrome and there we have it. 
Uh, Chrome is actually stopped at rest, as uh, rest send, uh, because this is the breakpoint I just said. So what you get in the debugger is you get all the uh, debugger options over here. Um, run, uh, these are the step options, step over, step in, step out. Um, you get to see all the uh, variables, uh, you get the call stack. Basically, it's exactly the same as uh, Visual Studio Code. Um, there, there are some advantages uh, which I can show you. The major advantage of the Chrome debugger is uh, the profilers. Um, because it's attached, um, you can actually go to the profiler and you can click on this button over here to take a heap, heap snapshot. And you can use the uh, profiler over here to instrument the memory or the uh, CPU. I will make a video dedicated to each one of these tabs because it's so in-depth that uh, you, I, I don't want to do it in a, in a video that is just showing how to attach. But this is basically um, the advantage. If you use Visual Studio Code, you can do it, but you got to add some plugins. If you just use Chrome because you have Chrome, um, it's much simpler. I have used Chrome just for the, um, the, the two profilers. But if I'm just debugging a normal file, I, I don't bother attaching Chrome. I usually just use uh, Visual Studio Code. Now, alternatively, if you close the uh, DevTools, you can just launch the uh, dedicated DevTools for Node by clicking on this link over here. What you will get is you will get the uh, DevTools with a connection tab. And the connection tab, you can then type in the um, the port number and you can type in the address of where the debugger is. It's exactly the same as just clicking on this uh, link over here. Uh, exactly the same. Um, you choose whichever way suits you, whichever way you're comfortable with. And that's pretty much it. Um, I use this technique for the um, CPU and the memory profiler. I genuinely don't use this technique if I want to debug. Visual Studio Code is more than convenient to debug Node.js. Um, I just put inspect and I use Visual Studio Code. Um, a gentle reminder to subscribe, uh, hit that bell icon, it will, it will notify you when I have new videos. And definitely give me a comment or a like if you want to give a like, but definitely give me a comment in the description below if you want to see more videos or just let me know uh, what's going on or, or if you have any, if you need any help, just let me know in the uh, comments below. It's been a pleasure bringing you this information. I am High Voice, signing out.